Welcome to the next part of the Creo car tutorial. In this part, I'm going to make the back fenders of the car. On the fenders, there, there's a surface here that extends all the way across, and that's one surface. So, that means we're going to make a surface that extends from the back wheel to, to the front so just switch to right view activate the, the right plane and bring that view forward draw line up straight up and switch to the four views and make this line match match the wheel um, wheel surface so something like that that's fine and also make a new curve and click on the bottom of the line this cur curve travels up and touching right on the bottom there Okay, just go to the top view and on the back of this line there's a slight curve so just turn on control point. I don't know if you can see this but on this line here there's a slight curve on the bottom there. We can go to this curve and just drag that down slightly. Should be around there. And drag this point up forward yep that looks fine okay and just go make a surface select the rail except so we create a surface like that For the side view, we gotta extend this line down. I'll switch to wireframe and go edit this line. So I want this line to extend down, so you can just drag it down. If you want to extend it, you can click on the line and hold Shift and LT and uh, click, and it'll create a new point on the plane. So we might need to move this back like that. Move it across slightly. Yep, something like that. All right. Except and let's trim that surface out. The surface trim. Actually, we need to drop the code down. So drop, select the surface right plane except creates a new line there so go to surface trim select that surface select that curve and trim yep that's good and we're gonna trim the upper part as well so Draw a curve here. Actually, we we'll go. Click on curve. Draw a curve here. Just make a drawing uh, rough, rough curve because we just go in and edit and make it a lot better. So this curve is a. Uh, it's got a lot of 
curvature goes up, down, up. So we're gonna put on curvature curvature five. And I like to use the control points, these ones. And adjust the line, make a match the blueprint. Make sure the endpoints extend across the surface so when we trim it, it will be fine. So spend your time, make sure the points are nice. Make sure it spreads evenly and... Naturally, yeah, that's the word. Okay, that's fine, we've dropped it. Let's make it, let's bring up the shaded view. Drop this curve onto the surface, accept and go to trim. Okay, I think there's a problem here. We're gonna move the surface up slightly. Extend this curve up. And regenerate. Okay, so go to trim. Okay, that's good. So we have that surface there. Okay, now for this part, let's switch to wireframe. And switch the right view on. And we've got to draw this curve. Go create a curve and click on create a curve on the surface and we're going to draw this line here we'll start from the end point here make sure it's on the end and draw this curve this curve is a com complicated curve it's a degree 5 curve you go edit make that a degree 5 and delete some points And draw your curve, match, match the blueprints, but also make it look natural as well. Doesn't have to match the blueprint 100%, but uh, that looks nice there. And okay. Switch to shaded view. And now we're gonna start to make this surface here. Okay, so draw a line and switch it to a normal curve instead of a curve on the surface and draw one there, one here, one here. And also one here. Accept and hide this curve here so we don't get confused. Go to surface and actually we're gonna move this line down. Switch to the right view and double check. Make sure it's flat.
Okay, for this curve here, we're gonna change this tangency to surface curvature. Needs to blend across. And we'll put to go. We'll go surface. Yep, so these should be on position. And this point here should be on curvature. curve doesn't look right so we just go to top view have a look Okay, that's good. All right, so now we're gonna, what we're gonna do, draw a surface here, draw a curve here, to create a surface up here. Add a slight curve, slight curvature to that curve. Turn on control points. And make that surface, all right. Okay, so we're ready to create this blend here. Okay, for this part, we just gotta move this line down. Move this line all the way here. This line slightly forward. Make your lines look natural. Make a um, make a clean, pure curve. Yeah, I'm not sure what what a pure curve is, but all right. So just get a curve, draw a curve on this surface here. Okay, this curve is on this surface, and it's touching that point. And drag this point across. And okay, now go to create a surface and click this for edge. And there's a problem. We want this to be curvature. Um, just delete this surface again. Sometime we just need to drag this point to the right surface. Okay, let's try that again. Let's see. Create a surface. Okay, same problem. We try to regenerate. 
and create a surface again, try a different direction. Okay, that didn't work. So just play around with the curve, um, just make sure the curve is in the right place. And what you want is a curve chart here, a curve chart here. Okay, so I got it to work. So the problem was, yep, so you want something like that. Curvature here, curvature here, curvature or tangent, both are fine. So the problem was this curve here, it's this point here just needs to be on curvature as well. You gotta put that on surface curvature and create that line. Okay, there you go, we create a surface. This is a complicated bit. I'll just do a quick rendering here. So that was a really complicated bit. This surface here needs to blend down and always and also across. So um, take your time, try to tweak, tweak a few things there. I'll try to put this on curvature as well. What you can do, you can go to the top view, just make a few tweak, and try and make a match, and and it should look better. But uh, yep, that's it for this tutorial. What we did today, we made this side panel and also a blend between a number of surfaces here. So I uh, hope you liked the tutorial. Follow the links for the next bit. Um, so we're nearly there. We just gotta do the back bit of the car. The front's nearly done. So the end is coming pretty soon. So I hope you liked the video. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you add it to your favorites. Share with your friends and subscribe so you can see more of my videos and I get more views. That's why. Right. Um, all right. Thanks a lot. See you later.